Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so I don't usually do unboxing videos or anything like that, um, but I kind of wanted to do this one because uh, I feel like I got a pretty good deal on some of this stuff, and I just wanted to show you guys what I got. Um, so obviously I, I live in Maine, um, and up here we have a store called Martin's, and there's a bunch of them all over the state. And if you don't know what Martin's is, then uh, well, you better smarten the frig up, old boy. You gotta quit being such a friggin' chowder head, Bob, and go check her out. But for real, it's a uh, surplus and salvage store. So they go out and they buy out um, other businesses that, for instance, if someone had a flood, flood damage products or fire damage products or couldn't sell something, they can buy. They buy the whole lot from them, and then they resell it in their store for a pretty good discount. So. Um, they just switched over the other day to all their fishing gear, which usually it's not really all that great, but um, uh, I got there right when they were stocking it, so there was a lot of actually pretty fairly decent stuff in there. So uh, I got this bag here. Um, we're we'll gonna dump her out and see what we got, and I'll show you what I paid for it and what how much I saved. So. This is all the stuff I got here. So I didn't get all lures. I got some a pair of gloves, a pack box. But uh, I'll go over it really quick. All right, guys. So uh, I got my receipt right here, and uh, it says I paid sixty-seven dollars for all of this. So I've been looking for some chatter baits, and specifically black and blue, and some uh, green pumpkin ones. And haven't really been able to find them. Uh, not what I was looking for, but uh, they had some right there, Martins, and these are the uh, the Strike King Rage Blade. And I paid three sixty nine for these. I got four of them, and they originally sold for five ninety six, so just about six dollars. And I looked up all these prices. They list on the tag what it was originally. Uh, sold for before they marked it down and a lot of these are pretty much spot on so um, 369 is what I paid and I got four of them two black and blue and uh, two green pumpkins so I got those um, I picked up uh, they had a bunch of Strike King stuff there so I, I picked up uh, I needed a frog Picked up the sexy frog, uh, the KVD sexy frog. Uh, that I paid five dollars and thirty nine cents for, but it originally sold for eight dollars and sixty four cents, so a couple dollars cheaper. Picked up this Plano box. Um, I figured uh, I needed a smaller Plano box for all my crappy gear. I'm gonna start uh, organizing that soon, getting that together for the spring here. I need a small tackle box, and they just happened to have one there, and it was a dollar seventy-five. So I picked that up. They originally sell for about three bucks, so dollar seventy-five. I couldn't afford not to, Bob. Had to pick her up. So we got that old girl, and then I picked up a bunch of crappie baits. I got the Mr. Crappie by Strike King. Uh, paid a dollar fifty-nine for that. Originally was two dollars and fifty eight cents, so I saved uh, saved about a dollar on those. And then I picked up these other uh, baits for crappie, paid a dollar sixty nine for those. They're just a little minnow. Um, I, I like these baits, a little tail on the back like that. And uh, I paid paid a dollar sixty nine, and they were two seventy seven. And I paid a dollar sixty nine. Save a little more than a buck on those. We've got another pack of those, different color. Um, got got another uh, Mr. Crappy, different uh, type of tube. I don't know how they're gonna work. They look a little long, but I can always bite them down or something. But uh, pay a dollar fifty nine for those, and those were originally uh, two fifty eight, just like this package. So I got two of those, two different, uh, two different styles. Um, I got two of these 
And I don't know why um, these were marked differently. Sometimes it's weird, but um, I got two little jigs. I figured I needed two sort of finesse type jigs uh, for smallies and stuff, so I picked up these two. Paid a dollar forty-six for one of them and a dollar fifty-two for the other one, and they were originally like almost two and a half dollars a piece. So, um, pretty good deal on those. And then I picked up. They had a bunch of Rapala stuff there, but I, I didn't really buy much of that. I I did see two um, two of these X wraps. They're the countdowns, and I got these for trout. Um, they look like a, a good color, the, a really good size, a size I like to use for trout. And I paid five dollars a piece for these. And these are originally ten dollars a piece, so this was five dollars off on both of these. So both of these usually, if you go to like Walmart or something or Dicks, theoretically they're supposed to be twenty dollars for two of these, and I paid ten, so half price. Picked up uh, just a set of these weights for my smelt rigs that I use in the winter. Um, Paid 94 cents for them, so I just picked them up. And then I got these. These look like they're actually pretty old. I don't know how long these have been banging around for, but they're, uh, they're football head jig heads. with the, They're the swivel head. I can't remember what you call them, really. Um, but they're the football head weight with the hook attached to it so it can swivel on the, on the hook. And uh, I picked those up for um, 4 82 Originally, they were about 8 bucks, so... That was a pretty good deal. I don't think those are 8 bucks originally for two of those. I don't know where they got that price from. I think they were probably closer to $5 originally. So I don't know if I really saved much on that. But they were there and I, I wanted the, some of these that I've been trying to find. So I just picked those up. And then they had a whole bunch of these uh, War Eagle spinner baits as well. So I got two of these. Two different colors. Um, and I paid two ninety nine dollars a piece for these. And originally they're around like seven dollars or something like that. They're made in the USA, and uh, they had a whole bunch of different colors and different blades and stuff like that. And I like this one here. It had that red blade on the front. Thought that was pretty neat, and uh, figured I'd try that. And got this one too. So about six bucks for two of these. And originally they're seven dollars a piece. So, and then the last thing I got was a pair of these uh, Glacier Gloves. They're the the Cold River Cold River Flip Mitt and I wear these type of gloves a lot um, and the other pair that I have, I don't know if, you've ever, if you've ever watched any of my videos you've probably seen the pair that I wore but they're um, they're woven and the hook sometimes will get stuck in that thread and it, but with these they're uh, a windproof and water resistant fleece and they're pretty cool, they're really comfortable. The thumb actually, um, you can flip it back and velcro it so your thumb is exposed, so you can tie knots with it and stuff like that. And uh, they're pretty warm. And then the, this flips down if your fingers get cold. And I really like these type of gloves for fishing in the fall and in the winter. Um, really they do keep your hands really warm they're not I mean there's not much to them but they they work so I had to pick these up just because um, I paid nine dollars for these eight ninety nine but they're originally twenty five dollars these are twenty five dollar gloves and I paid nine dollars for them so I had to get them and uh, I'm gonna use these a lot so so I did the calculations here um, really quick on my phone and I paid sixty seven dollars uh, with tax all of this stuff um, before it was marked down would have been just over hundred and twenty dollars so I saved uh, around fifty dollars on all this stuff so that's quite a bit if any of you guys are from Maine um, I suggest checking out your local Martins because uh, I know there's a few of them I don't know if they all got stocked with uh, fishing gear but I know there's a few of them that have been stocked with fishing gear already this year and they got some pretty good deals. Um, they had, I saw some fly reels, um, rods, they had uh, hunting waders, they had a whole bunch of stuff um, in the outdoors section. So um, if you're from Maine, definitely go check out Martin's this week and uh, before it's all gone because that stuff doesn't seem to last there very long. Uh, the good stuff anyways. Um, as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
Uh, leave a comment if you'd like, and uh, stay tuned for more fishing videos coming up. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching, guys.